Hey YouTube, Jake Green 302. I'm going to call this one The Amish. The best thing I can tell you is um, I'm going to I'm going to describe to you some some of the things that I have been doing and I'm going to tell you what I'm getting out of it and then you decide whether or not any of this can help you the Amish we have a horse farm we we have a couple of Amish kids that come over and, and work on the farm with us um, we have an Amish community. Um, I have, as a part of my prepping skills, if you will, have gotten to know some of the elder Amish, in particular, these young boys, their grandfather. Um, I go over and talk with him as often as I can. I look forward to it. Um, I believe that the Amish in our area are Dutch Amish. I think most of them are. But um, the Amish folks live without electricity. The Amish folks live like you're going to live during shit hits the fan. Think about that. You want to know how to live when the shit hits the fan? And want to know some of the tips and tricks of how to, to get some things done? Go hang out with some Amish. Get to know them. They're actually very nice people. Um... They're very hardworking. They've got some very good values. Um, their their system of community is very good. Um, they grow their own food. They raise their own food. They hunt. The particular Amish folks that I'm thinking of have a functional, real windmill that pumps water to a reservoir high up. I know this for an absolute fact because in the winter you can see the ice up there and I have asked them and they pay attention to when it's full and disengage the pump. Um, they have draft horses. They have buggies. Most of them with very high end LED lighting and very nice woodwork and but they have buggies and draft horses. So when the shit hits the fan and we're all trying to figure out what the hell to do, somebody's going to have to go tell them the shit has hit the fan because they're not going to know. They've got chickens and they've got rabbits and, you know, they collect hay. They've got the cycles from year to year down. They can tell you when to plant they can tell you what ground is worth planting. They can tell you how to work with wheat and, and make things that we just really, unless you're spending a lot, a lot of time uh, studying homes, uh, homesteading and, and uh, going back to the 18th century on how to do a lot of things, these folks are doing it. And this is why I speak to the guy's grandfather. Um, they are, are practical examples, and you'd be surprised. As I go over and I talk with them, and we're, we're discussing things, and, and some of it is to do with the farm, and some of it just general discussion and things like that. As you look around, you'll notice they make their own clothes, and they know how to. Um, they, know, they know how to work with their hands and with hand tools. And, and if you notice in most, shop, uh, most Amish 
places they have workshops and they have they have a lot more land they have real nice homes they have um lots of workspace they they have space for animals all the things that that you might want to be considering they're doing the amish one hell of a real world practical view on some of the things that everybody's trying to figure out how they're doing automatically if you have some amish folks get to know them work with them do business with them they're not the people they they they're not the ones in our penal colonies they're not the ones that are breaking the laws they're not the ones that are causing problems their kids are not the ones that are causing mischief the value of some of the things that I've picked up from them I just I I don't know how to tell it to you um, the Amish take a moment go learn a little you'd be surprised at how much of what you need to know and they'd probably be willing to tell you it just takes time to get to know them nothing fancy on this one no world shattering ideas here but if you get the opportunity and you really are serious about learning about some of this stuff go to the experts I'll leave it at that thanks for listening